jamming that wild band of magic from Los Angeles. Here he is, Ricky J. So nice of you to fly my whole family up to be close to me for this <laughs> particular performance. There are many people uh, sitting by me, and I'm going to ask uh, some of them to participate in a small card trick. I'm going to do a few serious things. This woman sitting here on my left, all I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to riffle through the cards like that as I do. Would you yell stop at some point, and then I will? Okay, now? Okay, the idea is that you are to say stop while I'm riffling the cards. That would give you a choice, okay? Stop. Okay, was this enough time for you to see one? Mm -hmm. You actually saw a card that quickly? Okay, did the camera pick that up? All right, we'll do it again. Okay, would you please just say stop as I ripple through? Stop. Good. Do you see one this time? Is it a different card? Okay, remember, it doesn't matter to me. What I'm going to try to do is a little mind reading here. I believe the card you looked at is a red card. Is that correct? Good. Is it a heart? Yes. Good. I believe the card you looked at was a small card. Is that correct? Yes. It was a small card. Well... <laughs> It wasn't? I mean, you can all help out. This is not a rhetorical question. It was not a small card? Maybe I've made a mistake. What was the card that... What were you saying? The second time, the jack of hearts. The jack of... That's a small card. You see, it's much smaller than all the <laughs> These are all a lot larger. Oh, just another bout of semantics. Uh, yours for at least 15 minutes. I'll take it back later. I'm not a wealthy man. I'm going to do another effect with a number of cards here. Uh, some of you will no doubt be seeing that I use uh, a few different cards. Uh, I'm going to be using five of them. I'm going to take the ace, two, three, four, and five of spades and put them through an unusual series of gymnastics. I'm going to ask you to watch those five cards. The ace, the deuce, the three, the four, and the five. I'm going to start out with the ace of spades, the deuce of spades, the three of spades, the four of spades, and the five of spades. Thank you very much. <laughs> now what I'm going to do, now this sounds strange, but this is what we call in the business plot. I'm going to go through and shuffle the cards and actually try to find those same five cards again. I find this silly, but if I found five different cards, then you wouldn't understand the effect, and everybody would be oh so confused. By the way, I talk a lot, but watch out, because when I move, I move like lightning. <laughs> Just about ready to go. Remember, the ace, the deuce, the three, the four, and the five. Look, that's two the ace and the deuce. Going back for number three, just kiss my baby, going back for number three, an old meter's tune, number three, ace, deuce, and three. Now for the four and the five, the most difficult thing, I'm going to take the three, throw it out into the air, it's going to come back into the center of the deck. I'm going to spread the deck, it is obviously in between two cards, and the only two. That's the four, and that's the five. As a child, my parents kept me locked up for years, you know. I mean, I hated the closet, but it was so easy to find cards. I mean, after a while, you just got a certain feel for maybe the six or the seven, and you're just able, after doing a number of manipulations, to have some idea of where the actual cards that you were looking for were. I mean, this didn't happen all the time, but occasionally it did, and it was a good chance to talk and work in the closet at the same time. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much the entire effect. Uh, I guess I should, at some point, actually try to find both the queen and the king of states. By now you understand that this effect is based on shuffling the deck of cards, and when you really thoroughly shuffle the cards like this, and you can come in quite close and the cards are mixed and thoroughly shuffled, it's very hard to find any particular card unless you keep the entire deck in order. And if you can come in and see that, every card from the Ace of Diamonds and the Deuce. Oh. I feel so much better now. <laughs> Not only that, well on my way to the luckiest night of my life. <laughs> I'm going to try something else with the aces. I've had no success shuffling the cards. Would you like to shuffle them? Quickly. It's dead time. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Four cards will be shuffled. These four will stay here. I have the ace of clubs, the ace of diamonds, the ace of hearts, and the ace of spades. You haven't even straightened them out yet, and your time is over. Now, give them a couple of quick riffle shuffles. Very good. I didn't say mangle the cards. Just shuffle them. We won't need that. Ladies and gentlemen, the classic ace effect, which I did before I was in the travel service business, something that I remember from the very dim recesses of my past, a true magical classic, shuffle them again and do get into control. The four aces, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades left for your attention. 
and one deck of cards, maligned and nearly dead. <laughs> what I am going to do is to deal a number of cards on top of each of the particular aces. I will start, obviously, with the ace of spades and work myself back in a given order. Diamonds, hearts, and spades. I will now take an ace and drop it into the first portion. Remember, the ace of clubs well into the middle of that first stack. Next, the ace of diamonds. You can watch closely. I'll drop an entire stack on top of that. Finally, I drop the stack first and place the ace of hearts, cut it neatly into the middle, and the last ace, the ace of spades, buried, as is its wound. Four aces lost in the deck. I'll attempt to find each and every one of those aces, starting with the same ace I started with before. How clever. The ace of clubs. Watch. The ace of clubs should now be face up in the deck. One card face up, and you can plainly see that that is the seven of spades. <laughs> this gives me two possible choices. One is to assume that that seven should be there, that that indicates the ace of clubs is exactly seven cards away. The other choice is suicide. <laughs> I shall choose the former. Seven cards exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The ace of clubs. The next ace, the ace of diamonds. <laughs> Face up one card in the deck, the ace of diamonds. Look at people sitting so close. Even the slightest of foul move would indeed be a dreadful mistake. Watch the ace of hearts, this time spelling. A, C, E, ace. O, F of hearts, H, E, A, R, T, F. <laughs> one more to choose from, the ace of spades. I would like you, with your, your index finger, to hover it above the deck, and put it above the deck, and as I go by, actually let it settle down on a card, any place at all. Settle down on a card. You've noticed you've changed your mind at the last minute. A very unusual thing. Would you like to change it back? Now, remember, you could, or you could think that I'm confusing it. You don't have to. You can take any card. You've stopped it. One card in the deck slided gently forward. The card which you have stopped at. Turn it over now for the first time and show what it is. Of course, the ace of spades. Now, just a minute. The two of hearts is the card which you picked at the beginning of the very first effect I did. The one that you didn't think I'd be able to find. The two of hearts, not the ace of spades. Watch closely because now that is the ace of spades. Thanks very much and good night.